Believe it or not, it is Friday afternoon, Low VA Rates Nation, and you're here with us at the Low VA Rates Mothership for Friday Facebook Live. So today we're going to talk about is a VA arm, is an adjustable rate mortgage smart? Well, it kind of comes back to our picture today. We're paying homage to the airborne people. You have a reserve parachute just in case, correct? So let's talk about how an adjustable rate mortgage is kind of like a veteran's parachute because, you know, we like to have options and reserves are good. So with a mortgage, everybody loves 30-year fixed mortgages. Remember, the history of a 30-year mortgage goes all the way back to the Great Depression and it was made to take care of the banks because it, before that, all mortgages were five-year balloons and amortized over a 20 year period of time. And the only people that made any money on them was the banks. So as an exchange for that, they put it out to a 30 year and America's had a love affair with the 30 year fixed mortgage. But remember, now there are certain things that happen. We're going to have, you have home insurance, right? How many of us have gotten a notice from our current home insurance provider that your annual premiums have gone down? not very many probably one or two so we know that that is going to go up the other thing you have you have property taxes so guess what i have never gotten a property tax payment that has gone down so that is going to go up if you have a 30-year fixed rate mortgage guess what every time your homeowner's insurance goes up and every time your property taxes go up guess what you get a larger mortgage payment a lot of times we work with veterans here that are having escrow shortages and sometimes their house payment goes up by two to maybe four hundred dollars depending on the escrow shortages so let's talk about some ways today that this VA adjustable rate mortgage is kind of like our parachute for all paratroopers because we like to have some extra protection. One of the things to remember, the VA hybrid arm was created by the Department of Veterans Affairs. Remember, Uncle Sugar exists to take care of all veterans and make sure we buy homes that are safe, sound, and sanitary. And the Department of Veterans Affairs is the one that guarantees the lender against loss. Do you think the Department of Veteran Affairs would create a mortgage that has an adjustable rate component that would put a veteran at disadvantage? No. So let's talk about some of the three key safety features that these VA adjustable rate mortgages have. The first one, now, let me write this down so we remember because safety is always first we always know in the military we have safety briefings on Fridays because the weekend comes we're gonna make sure we're safe and everybody shows up for duty on Monday so we've got some safety we're gonna do one two and three so one of the key safety features is it's an index base we're going to talk more about that the other one is we have a an annual cap and then we have a lifetime cap these caps that I'm talking about are not your gee whiz cool military branch association caps that we all wear and to specifically to the Marines out there I know when any Marine they never leave the Marine Corps because when you exit in UETS they give you baseball caps t-shirts bumper stickers and everything you could possibly say it says United States Marine Corps on it different caps but the index we're talking about, this is not set by the lender. There's a lot of indexes, you know, and we had the mortgage meltdown about 10 years ago. There were some very risky indexes that are out there. The Department of Veteran Affairs set up the adjustable rate mortgage on a very conservative index. They use a 12 month average of the one year constant maturity treasury what that means is it takes an average of the index each month a new index is published and your new mortgage payment after you get out of that fixed period of time is based on that average so you don't have big spikes meaning your rate goes way up or your rate goes way down now all of these adjustable rate mortgages they have 
a fixed period of time. It might be three years. It could be five years. In some instances, maybe even seven years. So you have a fixed period of time that we're dealing with, which is really pretty exciting because in some instances, you may have just recently gotten a brand new shiny 30 year fixed mortgage that you're very excited about because you either did a cash out refinance or maybe a purchase of your home. So for example, if you were at 4.75% and you wanted to go into a 3-1 arm where it's fixed for the first three years, maybe you go to a 3%. You just saved yourself 1.75% interest. I did some cipher before I came in today. If you had a $250,000 mortgage and you had a 4.75% on that 30 year fix, you went to a 3% adjustable, it would save you about $200 a month. So that's a lot of money. You can do other things with it. You could plug that back into your principal and accelerate your balance reduction, which is exciting. We love to save less because we like to save money as veterans. Now, we talked about the index. That was safety feature number one. Now we're going to talk about the safety feature number two of the annual cap. The annual cap is pretty exciting because it is capped at 1%. This means after you get done with this three year or five year or seven year period of time, the most that your interest rate could go up is 1%. So we're gonna do some Nebraska math, make it simple today on Friday, because I know it's been a long work week for all of us. If you started at 3% and your index had gone up, the most your interest rate can go up is to 4%. Guess what? you're still three quarters of a percentage point lower than where you started at on that shiny 30 year fixed mortgage that we're gonna help you talk about how to get rid of. Veterans still winning. The other one is the lifetime cap because we always tend to worry about the future. Those of us in the military, we've always said, oh my gosh, today is a tough day. And about three days in the future, we were wishing we could go backwards because it wasn't that bad of a day. This is a 5% cap. Now remember, the index, this conservative index here, this 12 month average of the one year constant treasury maturity coupon would have to continuously go up, 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 up. That doesn't happen. It does. It goes up sometimes and then it comes back down. Believe it or not, over the life of a loan, it's some up months and you get some down months during that lifetime. So in recap for today, do we have any questions? I'll make sure I'm doing on time. I don't get in trouble with our marketing folks today on a Friday. We all good? Okay. So we know that we've got the safety features, conservative index. We have an annual cap of 1% and you have a lifetime cap of 5%. Now remember, an adjustable rate mortgage may or may not be good for everyone. What I encourage everyone to do, please call us here at Lovia Rates, speak with one of our VA loan experts where we can sit down and compare. We're going to maybe look at a a 30 year amortized term. We're going to look at what are the benefits of some VA hybrid arms, see how those can help you accelerate some principal reduction each month. Because remember, we work very, very hard. The largest bill that all of us have is our mortgage payment. I'm a firm believer and I want my mortgage payment to work just as hard for me as I did to earn the money to make that payment each month. And a great way to do that is utilizing the VA adjustable rate mortgage to make that mortgage payment work just as hard as you did. We've got some benefits or some that safety features, conservative index, the annual cap and lifetime cap. We did some quick calculations here on what that would look like if your mortgage payment goes up. So again, be safe this weekend to the low VA rates community. I know it's winter driving out there. Always take some extra clothes with you if you're driving in the Midwest because I know how cold it can get out there. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out with us. Have a great, safe week being a veteran. Take care.